Mighty Wolf TV. Hey guys, it's Trevin Scheller, owner of Mighty Wolf TV, and we are back again with Mario Kart Super Circuit on the Game Boy Advance. In the last video, we did, um... Uh, who we not play as yet? I don't think we played as Wario. But yeah, in the last video we did... So first video we did these three, last video we did these two. And so now we're gonna be doing the Retro Tracks. Which are basically just all the tracks from the original Mario Kart on SNES, which we played earlier this year. And here they are on the Game Boy Advance. Basically, I should have just called this the. They could have just made this soup like Super Mario Kart Advance. Yeah, it even plays the music too. I guess the exact same track too. It's just in the GBA graphics. So basically, this was the first game to use uh, retro tracks, which is pretty cool, honestly. A lot of people say Mario Kart DS was the first game to do it. Well, okay, Mario Kart DS was the first game to do it right, because they did 64, Super Circuit, and Double Dash tracks, too. But, uh, this game was the first game to do it, period. I don't know how much we're gonna get through, but I definitely want to try to... Oh, we got four laps. Oh, that's right, it's still five laps. Oh yeah, and, uh, and uh, also a few days ago, uh, we saw Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Wave 2 get revealed, and one of the Mario Circuits is actually coming to the game, Mario, Mario Circuit 3. And I think that was the same one that came to Mario Kart Wii, now that I think about it. Now invincible. And we won, first place. I know we're doing 50cc, but I remember in the last video we had a really hard time. Anyway, this isn't this isn't a playthrough, this is just a casual play series. You know, just for fun, you know? Alright, now we're doing Donut Plans 1. Never imagined it to be a jungle. Kinda weird. I didn't even realize those were coins. I like how it plays the same music, though. Yeah, like, wasn't there more water in these stages? Okay, I got Bowser. And Yoshi. Darn, I missed. I almost got him, though. Oh, I, I, did I actually get him? Huh. Looks like I did. I really hate the drifting in these games, and like how slippery the controls are in the first three Mario Karts. As okay, like honestly, as okay as the first three Mario Karts are, I do give the first three games props for something. Like, I give the first Mario Kart props for being the, the game that started the franchise. I give Mario Kart 64 props for being the first one in 3D, and I give Mario Kart Super Circuit props for being the first one in a handheld. And Double Dash, that was the game where the controls got good. And Mar every Mario Kart game since Double Dash has been gold. Honestly, who else agrees with everything I just said there? That's my honest opinion about the Mario Kart franchise. Mario Kart DS was great, Wii was great, 7 was great, 8 was great, 8 Deluxe especially. With his DLC. Tour. Eh. 
happy. I'm. S but yeah, speaking of eight deluxe, man, I'm so I'm so excited for uh, wave two. I'm gonna be playing that next week. They're bringing back Mushroom Gorge from Mario Kart Wii. They're bringing back another stage from Super Circuit. My only complaint: there's still no double dash tracks. Oh, they already put four double dash tracks from uh, Mario from uh, into Mario Kart Eight. So only have like that would only give you like a few more to put in. But yeah, it would be nice to have more. I want like the Daisy Cruise or uh, Wario Stadium. Those would be some cool ones to put in. I suppose I like Wario Stadium. That stage has only been put in. It's never been remade, so that's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons why I wanted it. And I can't wait to play Mario Kart Wii on this channel. That's gonna be really fun. That was one of my favorites, honestly. Not 100 percent sure how I'm gonna record DS though, since I've never done DS games on channel before. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna use an emulator. But I still don't know how to show the screens. Or don't know how they should look. But I'll cross that road when I come to it. For now, just enjoy Super Circuit and Double Dash. I'm actually doing pretty good. I mean, I am 50cc, but again, it's just the casual plays series. It's not... And there we go, we won. And the racers back there look like they're driving on air. Alright, Bowser Castle 1. The orig the true Bowser Castle 1. I prefer the Super Circuit version's music better. Alright. Yeah, so far this isn't so bad. Oh, come on, go this way. Probably shouldn't have threw that red shell, honestly. Yeah, what's that boost thing? Does that mean we get a boost when we drift? You don't really get boosts when you drift. I feel like if you did get boosts from drifting in these games, it would kind of mess me up. Although it is a lot more realistic in these games. Like, you don't really boost from drifting in real life, let's be real about that. Alright, come on. Also, this is worth noting, I'm actually uh, home alone for the whole weekend. So, uh, my parents and my brother uh, went on a, a cruise. And they, they've been there since this morning. The reason why I didn't go is because of a simple four-letter word. W-O-R-K. Work. Even though I got... Even though I got... Two of the cruise days off, still gotta work Sunday. So like the cruise happens from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then they come back on Monday. I have Friday and Saturday off, but not Sunday. Hey, you know how Sundays are at McDonald's. They're hard to call off on, and it's also a bad idea to do so. Yeah, we also uh, finished this. I, was, I, thought, I thought Peach was coming down the track for a second, but it was actually Wario.
I know it took us 10 minutes. Oh, rank B. I got first place in all the tracks. Eh, let's do 100. Alright. Now we're gonna do the second cup from the SNES. Oh, you know, that background's more like it. Oh, they should have made the sky yellow. Yeah, if they made the sky yellow, it would have looked more accurate to the original. Oh, I remember this now. It's the one where you go over that part of the track. I, don't, I still remember when I played, I got, like, stuck right there. But thankfully, as you just saw, you go higher. Oh, come on, go, go, go. Man, I hate the drift controls in this game so much. Oh, I don't, it's always this part right here. Man, got these controls. Uh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. As you gotta jump after you drift. That actually does kind of help. Yeah, jumping after drifting does kind of help. That's... That's just one of those things they don't tell you when you play this game. Actually, now that I think about it, they don't tell you anything when you play this game. <sighs> Drink a lemonade. Lemonade's good. Wondering what that noise was. Shoko Island 1. Ah, this looks interesting. Nice sunset. Yeah, that really does help. I need, I need coins. I, I almost said rings, but no, this is Mario, not Sonic. Even though I was collecting rings in Sonic Origins. Yeah, I really need to go back. Yeah, I'm, I want to try to go back to doing Mario Kart once a week. And I like to honor, um, you know, Mario's Mario Kart's 30th anniversary. Need more coins. Doing pretty good, as long as Mario doesn't throw that. I'm still doing good. Why did they put? The, why did they even put those coins over those bumps? Come on, go! I thought that was the final lap. Come on, go! Don't get fifth place, please. Good enough. At least I didn't get fifth place. Like, I'm just happy I didn't get under fourth. Because that would have been disqualified. I honestly don't care if I lose the whole, like, Grand Prix. I just want to play all the tracks. Oh, nice. 
I always hated these ghost levels. Especially in these old Mario Karts. I hope in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe they bring back one of these, where the controls are actually good. Wow, that jumping up, jumping from drifting really does help. Oh god, there's no fake item boxes. No! Darn it. I'm in last place and I have no coins. So the coins help with that? Can't tell. Okay, this is the last lap. I thought the one I, I always feel like the one I play. Yeah, I lost. Man. Right, let's try again. I hate that you only have three tries. Like, why? It's so hard to catch up with them. But I feel this is exactly how it was in the original, if I remember. I'm actually doing fine now. I feel like that's gonna change when um when they throw item boxes. Also, did Mario fall off? Nice. What happens? Just swiveled off, or whatever that. Or swer swerved. That, that's it, swerved. Yeah, that was a good place to use it. That narrow road. Okay, I'm doing better now. Darn it! Come on, don't just don't. Go on, go, 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 go. No, you stupid Luigi! No, I was so close. Did better, but still. Come on. Oh, why didn't I get that boost? I thought I held it at the right time. Darn it! Why did you lose your invincibility as soon as you, like, right after you fall off? I feel like this is a repeating Super Mario Kart all over again. Oh, this is terrible, no! There's no way I'm gonna catch up with these crappy controls. Nah, forget it. It's just these controls, man. Like, whenever you're not playing in... 
This is whenever you're not playing in 50cc, the controls are just terrible. Alright. Donut Plains 3. It's kinda cool it shows how fast you're going in the time trials. See if you guys can beat this. I'm surprised they didn't make this the third one. It's a lot easier. Don't fall off as much. Also, it's weird you have three mushrooms and there's five laps. Like, what's up with that? Not really crazy about that, honestly. Alright. No, come on. Uh, four flap. Yeah, it's kind of boring, honestly. There's are no other racers. Controls are so skittish. Alright, about the last lap. Man, no, just go. And there we go. At least I was able to show off that track. Alright. Yeah, I'm going back to 50cc. 100 is just not fun in, this, in these old games. Yeah, I'll be Luigi. Alright, uh, the extra lightning cup. Let's do it. Alright, Bowser Castle 2. It's weird it starts with that one, though, honestly. Alright, come on. I don't know, it's like these don't feel like the SNES tracks, though, honestly. It still feels like Super Circuit to me. Oh yeah, that part's the the death. Ah man, doing bad in 50 CC. Man, come on. Here go! Uh, someone's invincible. Not, but not anymore. And it was Wario. I don't know why I thought it was King Boo at first, but I remember King Boo's not in this game. It's just the same, it's literally the same roster as Mario Kart 64. Do you think they would you, you think they would have added just one more character? Double Dash is when the roster just got good, uh, though, honestly. I thought, I thought Double Dash and, D and Wii's rosters were great. I thought the S's and Seven's rosters were kind of weird, but they were fine. Eight's roster is good, too, but I feel like it could have been better. Like in Eight, they really should have just added characters in that DLC. Would've been, nice. would've been cool. 
I'm actually in first place, surprisingly. Uh, I thought I thought that I keep thinking that's the, the last I keep thinking that's the last lap. Why did you have to make it five laps, Nintendo? I got three. Three's enough, man. Just don't don't make it five. I can't even throw the shells behind me. I got hit by one, too. It's funny, I've never seen... I didn't know it was possible to get hit by a shell, like... After you won the race. Alright, what's next? Mario Circuit 3. I thought the other track we played was Mario Circuit 3. Oh, was it Mario Circuit 2? I forget. All these tracks feel very similar to me. Because, like, they're literally every single track in this game is flat. Yeah, Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit are very similar games where they're all very flat. The only tracks that feel different to me are the ones where you can fall off. Like, yeah, like the... Ghost Levels and Rainbow Road. Yeah, come on. Man, this an item box. I don't really know what else to say in this video besides the fact that I just want to get, just want to beat the racers in front of me. Two laps left. Alright, one more. Darn it, man, really? Nice, got two people, basically. Bumped in the toad and hit Yoshi, I think. No, come on, don't don't lose. Just just don't go under four flats, that's all I ask. There we go. Two tracks left in this cup. Ah, Koopa Beach one. As an, okay, this is a nice change of pace. To do a uh, beach level. Oh, uh, then I also remember the ice levels from Super Mario Kart. I had to play those remakes too. Not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to that at all. Alright, we're already at lap 3. As nice as this track is, it's kind of boring. Like, everyone's just, like, far behind me. I fell in the water. I really have to take my coins. Also, I just realized you can carry more than 10 coins in this game. wonder why. Why isn't why is why don't games like Mario Kart let you do that? I carry more than ten coins. Darn it.
invincible again. I didn't know you could be invincible in second place in this game, that's kind of weird. Alright, last track. Choker Island 2. I wonder why they call it Choco, like... Cocoa Beans? I don't know, I always think Cocoa Beans. Can I get past Mario? Can Luigi get past his bigger brother? He did for a split second. Please, I can't stay in fifth place. No, 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 no. Looks me. Come on, I need to win. Or just not get under fourth place. Yeah, more coins, that's good. Come on, invincibility. Eh, that's good too. Alright. Invincibility, yeah! Can get past you now, Mario. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! That was close. We almost lost. Alright. Hey, we've got an E rank. And we're in third. Alright guys, well that's it for this video. Don't forget to stay tuned to your Marvel TV in the future and have a great day guys. And in the next video we'll do um, the last two cups.